G'day everyone, today we're talking about automatic tampers and in particular we have the brand new prototype version I believe, so it's a pre-release of the new Chinoart or Sinoart, depending on where you're from, PTB, which is the tamper that sits below your grinder. So let's have a deep dive into how cool this is and all the features that it has and it may be the right one for your espresso bar or cafe. So if you've checked out any of our other videos, you would have seen that we've been using the Cinoart range for quite some time. They're the taller style tamper. Now, essentially what's happened is with grinders and space being a premium in cafes, there were a few um, varieties that you could have it so that um, a grinder could sit on top of a tamper rather than having to go to the left or the right. So this is the Cinoart's uh, version. Uh, it's called the PTB, which is Precision Tamp Below, I believe it stands for. Um, and they've given us their pre-production model. So we've been playing with it now for well over a month. And to be honest, we're quite impressed. We are not seeing any differences between the stand-up model and this one here. If anything, there are some better um, things that they've changed, like the user interface, the cleanability, um, and the GLS, which is their guided leveling system. So let's get closer in, and I'll show you some of these improvements. So the tamper comes with this little cleaning device, and it's really handy. I'll show you how it works. You can pop it in and, and lock it in right at the very back there. We're gonna go into the menu and go to our tamper lift and operate the button which is tamper down. And you can see that that's holding the GLS up and giving us access to the tamper. You can now undo this. There we go. And you've got your flat base tamper there and it's a 58.3 millimeter. So we for a while there had 50 um, eight millimeters perfect and we found that without the 0.3 you'd get a bit of a, a tampering on the outside or a bit of extra grind that was coming up the basket so we're really happy that that is a 58.3 and that helps us with tamping and reducing channeling around the outside of the basket. A bit of coffee can build up on top of here but you can see with that little tool the cleaning tool it's really easy to get in here brush this out and no grind actually goes right up inside the actual uh, tamping mechanism so quick, easy, clean at the end of the day. And this little bracket helps it to, to make that process a lot easier, giving this a little brush and you're ready to go. So that's all you have to do to clean out at the end of a day. Pop that one back in. And put the tamper back up, remove the little bracket and we're done. Right, so that's a very simple way of getting in there and cleaning that each day. And we do recommend cleaning all these tampers every day to get any of that coffee grind out. The one thing that we've really loved about this particular model is that tamping head doesn't tend to build up with much coffee grind. If you've used an automatic tamper and you sort of pop it in sometimes and then you look at your puck and you might see that there's a bit of a hole or, or a clump missing and you've got to get in there and wipe your tamper head, we definitely have found a huge reduction in whatever um, Cinoart has been able to do with this tamp head. So for us, that's a huge tick um, and it's something that you don't face with manual tampers. But yeah, this one has definitely reduced the amount of uh, coffee clumping or sticking to that head. It's really easy to adjust for your particular handle. Um, you've got the ability to undo these with either a Phillips head screw or a, just a, a, a set of fingers, basically, if you can do it. Um, you do have to sort of maybe turn the machine upside down to do this because it's so close to the bench It makes it a lot easier, but once that guided um, That guide is in you can see it activates by the button at the back and it's a metal sensor. So that allows you to um, Not clamp your fingers. It's not going to tamp on anything and we haven't found it fail at all It definitely is consistent and the buttons work really well You'll note that there are some little lights under here and in the menu, it's pretty easy if you want to change the color of those, which is just a cool feature. You can have a white light, a red light, or you can have it open or off. So on or off ideally would be good on the menu, but there you go. I'll leave it at white for this example. And this is the back end of the menu. You can see here, I'm squatting down to look at it. 
And one of the complaints that we do find about any piece of equipment is where is the LCD screen and how well does it actually interface. Simply on the Cineart PTB, you can slide that out and see it on any angle. So huge plus, big tick, and this screen is super responsive. It's a very well designed screen. Um, and it gives you the ability to, to go through all of the parameters that you want. There's a product info. We can do a parameter lock, which I'll come back and show at a sec in a second. You can pick your language. In your temps, there's three presets. It's very easy to select between the different presets. And you can do how many temp times you've actually got and how um, much pressure or force that individual temp is going to be. So if we say temp preset 2 is 2 temps and we want a different temp force to be on that coffee, we can do that very easily. And then press um, for preset 3 and you could work your way through the menu and have say 3 temps if you really wanted to with variable pressures. So it's really up to you, you've got total flexibility on the temp pressure and how many times you want that to happen. When you go back to your main menu, it's very easy to see that we're on 16 kilos, tamping three times, and we're using preset three. If we're on preset two, 15 kilos with two tamps, or our favorite, which is 14 kilos and one tamp. So very easy to change between those. If you do lock the menu, it's stuck on the preset that you've left it in the menu. So if you've got a team that um, might not be very uh, handy with these kind of settings, you can just leave it on preset one, lock it in the back end, and then they can't get in there and fiddle with it. The thing about a below grinder tamper is that the um, tamper will be raised up. So if you're saving space by width being the issue, this is a great solution. But if you've got something, some maybe shorter staff and, and they need to reach this, you will have quite a high um, height for beans to go in. The other thing we notice is we have our scale sitting on this rest um, and we had to lower our scale holder down so that the staff could see the scale really well. But other than that, it's a great way to save space and it does suit a whole range of grinders. Now, I'll just remove the catch tray from the grinder. This is the Anthem SP2 Plus. And you can start to see, sorry, a bit of a grind there, but there's different holes to suit different grinders. So we can take that off. And you've got access to have power running down the back. And there's a whole range of different numbers here. Now I don't know exactly which grinder these suit, but um, I believe the Mythos suits on, sits on top of this uh, and a few others. So you can see there's different positioning. I'll try and find a link and tell you exactly which ones these suit but they've thought about the channeling from where the cable is going to sit from the grinder so that the power can make its way down. So there's a lot of thought going into there to really lock that grinder in on top of the precision tamper um, so that it doesn't move around. So quite good engineering and that's a, it's a good feature to know that we can cover the power cords and you can get it straight down into your bench without having to have them draping over the side. So a very neat cable management system there. And in case you're wondering, option A suits the Anthem SP2 Plus. So a couple of the specs on the PTB, uh, you can get it in black or white. It will do a minimum two kilo tamp up to 38 kilos of tamp, and it only takes 60 watt of power. So it's super uh, power friendly. Um, it does convert back to, um, I believe a 12 volt power supply still. So if you're in a coffee trail or something like that, it's still gonna be a very economical use of power. And when we're looking at size, it's 389 deep with a width of 188 and a height of 198. So hopefully that helps you do some measurements to fit it into your workspace. Not that I find an issue, but it takes 1.2 seconds for it to tamp. So if you're gonna have three tamps, you're looking at 3.6 seconds to do a triple tamp on there. So that's pretty quick uh, for a automatic tamper. So if that bit does get caught on your spouts, it does come with um, a couple of extra feet. So you can screw in full-size rubber feet to lift the um, whole PTV up off the ground to give you more clearance for your spouts. Uh, in our case, we've got the SP2 and we wanted to keep it as low as we can so we didn't put those feet on. And that's why we just caught that little rubber catcher there onto the ground for any of those keen eyes. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh.
So for us here, it has given us a lot more space because we do swap between multiple grinders on this bench and three group machines. So we've got plenty more space here on the right and more for our pulse system as well. So for us, that's working really well at the moment. Now, in regards to price, we're not sure where this is gonna sit, but definitely there's a lot more engineering into it than the normal model. So we're expecting it to be a little bit higher price than the original round uh, Cinemite that we've been using. But I think there's got a lot of value there uh, when you consider the extra benefits you're gonna gain. Not sure when it's gonna be released, but I'm sure we'll let you know as soon as we hear as well. Anyway, if you've got any questions about the range of Sinoart uh, tampers, uh, please pop a comment down below. We'll happily answer those. Or if you're in Australia and you wanna grab one, jump on our store. We definitely have them there in black, white, and I think in silver as well. So thanks very much for watching everyone. If you haven't yet liked and subscribed, please do, and we'll catch you next time. Cheers.